Okay, here's a message you might see coming up on your computer. Now, let me first tell you, I do not have Norton. I don't use Norton. I've never had Norton on this computer. And this is the message I'm getting from Norton saying that my computer is infected with five viruses. Do not leave this page until you download and fully search your PC. You got okay there. Even if I hit the X, I still can't. So I don't want to hit that. Don't hit proceed. Even if I try and close that, nothing, nothing, nothing's happening here. Okay, I can't even, see, there it is. Please not leave this page. You know, things just keep popping up as I try to click out. That's disabled. Okay, so what's going on here? This is merely a fake web page. Okay, these aren't anything that's in your computer. You've actually have stumbled upon, as I have, a web page that is infected either with an ad or the whole website is just bad or whatever. You can quickly tell because if you look up here, you got this goofy email address, or not email, sorry, web address, this cloudfront.net and all this goofy stuff up here. So that's not obviously anything that I've gone to, but it's something that's been redirected. Okay, so now what do you do? You can reboot the computer, so you can do the shutdown and reboot, and it probably won't be there when you come back. Let's see, look, now I'm stuck here. But also, what you can do is down here in an empty section, of your taskbar, right click, not your usual left click, but right click, choose task manager. Okay. And now we have this come up. Things up here show you what's currently open on the computer, which is task manager and internet explorer with three tabs. That's what the three means. And that's what we have. If we just highlight that, okay. And then down here at the bottom it says end task. Click on that, boom. You can now see that Internet Explorer has closed. So we can try opening up Internet Explorer again, because that's the one that was infected. I don't have an icon for it, so I'm just gonna type it in. Okay, there it is there. You can see if it comes up again. And you can see you got this warning here. Last browsing session was unexpectedly closed. Don't click on restore session because that will just bring up that infected page again. Just hit X. And you can see here we're just back on our usual intro page, which happens to be the MSN page. Okay. So sometimes you, what you can do is you can just unplug your computer or press and hold the power button for you know 20 30 seconds until you hear it shut off which is what you have to do with a laptop because if you unplug them the battery just kicks in and then when you restart then hopefully that message has gone away uh, but if not you can go through that thing there okay so now with uh edge and sometimes even Chrome, what can happen is that it remembers the last page you were on. So as soon as you go to open up one of those programs, it's going to reopen that infected page. So how do you get around that? Well, down here in this bar, and you might, on some computers, you just see the circle. You don't see this bar here, but if you click on the circle, this bar will show up. Down here, it can actually type in a web address. So if you click on that, See how that shows up. You can actually just type right in here a web address. So just click on a, just type in a safe one that you, that we all know, which is Google dot com, and then I would just hit enter. And what it will do is that it will open up your default web browser, which is probably the one that you would have been infected and it just opens up the Google page and it doesn't open up any of the other tabs. So that's how you can get around those problems with a hijacked web page.